Hi everyone, welcome to Keto Poppy. Remember to like and subscribe, costs you nothing, helps me a ton. Today I am making low carb enchiladas. And if you are a person who is from Mexico who makes these and I mean, just turn your head. This is my version and <laughs> it's not by any means authentic. I know I've got some friends that will um, hassle me about my um, Mexican food. Sorry. But it's Halloween and the kids are all going to be starting to show up here probably in about an hour. Um, and I just wanted a quick dinner. And, and the thing I love about anything tomato based is it's always better the next day too so we can have it for leftovers. But what I've got going here is I've got a pound of ground beef um, that I've just fried up. And you can use whatever, you know, if you're doing keto like me, you don't have to get the lean. Um, I've added onion powder. Guys, if you don't know how you like your ground beef seasoned by now, I don't know if I can help you. I'll put, um, this is cumin. I'll put the measurements in the bottom so if you've never made it before. Because I'm sure some of you are just new to cooking. Um, if you've never made it before, you'll have an idea. That's onion powder of how to make it. Yes, I could use I could use onion and I could use garlic. And this is chili powder. Um, I really could, but I'm in a hurry. And sometimes I just don't have time for all that, you know. So I just kind of wing it. I know some folks are really by the book on recipes and stuff. I couldn't tell you the last time I pulled out a cookbook. But I do like YouTube videos, so. All right, so this is all going. This is this is done. I just added a little bit more seasoning. Okay, so I've got my meat done there. And you could add peppers or whatever you want to that. I'm not, I can't do things that are super spicy because it hurts my tummy, but if you can, you know, you go for it. You put your Frank's hot sauce in there, whatever you like, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our sauce. And this is easy too. I have got a... Um, probably a half a can of the chili tomatoes that are like made ready for chili. I couldn't find like just ones that were for Mexican dishes, but this seems to work just as well. So I've half a can of that. And the reason I add that is because it's not as high carb as the salsa. And if you make your own again, I apologize. It's not as high carb. It helps me use less of this. So I'll add probably, I don't know half a cup of salsa, then we will add cream cheese, get this bad boy open, I go through so much cream cheese, it's crazy, and you know, if you like spicy stuff, you're probably going to want, you know, to add whatever hot sauce you use, or whatever ghost peppers you maniacs are into, I, I you guys kill me. Uh, with your spice. My daughter loves really, really spicy stuff ever since she was a baby. And uh, I just, I can't do it. Forgot my hand mixer. Back in two seconds. Okay, back. I had the attachment, but I forgot the mixer. So let me get this plugged in. And I've got a, a square pan, I think nine by nine here, greased up. If you're doing more, you know, if you've got a big family, this is enough. I'll probably freeze half of it and we'll... Uh, Put it away for a camping trip and, and have it. I usually do that, like with my bigger things, chili. I'll I'll make a bigger batch and I'll freeze half. And then when we go camping, I just take those frozen things and put them in the freezer, and then I don't have to cook. And then Don does everything that's on the grill. So uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter, probably a third cup of cream cheese in there. I seriously use this at least once a day. I always forget to, oh, wait, I've got a little hole I can put that in. Okay, let me disengage this without knocking the cup over. I've done that. Okay, now our sauce is ready. Our meat's ready. I let it cool just a little bit. Let's pull off that burner. Okay, so now we, what are we going to do about tortillas? Could you use low-carb tortillas? Absolutely you could. Am I going to... Not because I'm judging you. Um, just because 
I just like to keep it as low carb as I can, and I've got carbs in the sauce already. And I didn't go to Trader Joe's and get the zero carb cream cheese. And uh, Philly cream cheese used to be zero carb. I don't know what they've done to their recipe. And the Walmart brand is two as well, and it used to be zero. So I don't know what they've added in there. But this is, uh, I got this at Costco, and this is chicken, bre uh, chicken breast, roasted, seasoned, um, and this is what I use for my tortillas. And this is not original. I've seen this done on uh, many, many YouTube recipes. Okay. So we'll set this on the side. I've got my tortilla in here. If you can see that. Oh, it's coming apart. That's okay. We'll work with it. And we'll put some of our ground beef in. Ugh. I tell you what, today has been a day maybe I should not have cooked because everything I have done has been super messy. Okay, you don't need a ton in there. Um, and just somewhat disastrous. Like this, it's just falling apart. Um, I should have gotten the next one out. This one's sliced really thin. All right, that one's gonna not be pretty. But you know, some days that's what it's like. These people could have carved it a little bit thicker. The last batch I got was a little thicker, but see, that's pretty thick. Okay, put more meat in there, and this just keeps going until you get your pan full. And I'll probably fast forward through this so that you don't have to watch all of it. And we just roll that up. I cannot believe that's coming apart like that. Okay, that's my day. Um, Guess I could do them too thick, see how that works. Oh, and of course these are still frozen a little. Seriously, you all, the days that I do my videos, you know, I cook, I, I do several in one day. Um, I think I will use two on this one and see if that makes it roll easier. But I do a couple in one day. So like before this video, I did two different kinds of chaffles. Um, and I do that so that I can do all the video part in one day and get my editing done. And then I schedule those things to pop up online. Because otherwise I've got to do this whole, yeah, that's better with two. I got to do this whole setup multiple times. Let's see if these are a little bit more thawed. Course they're smaller. Let's get a couple of these. Here we go. Um, okay, back in two seconds. I'm gonna defrost these some more. Minor debacle, but I'm back. I finally got this chicken thought out. You know how it is, you put something in the microwave, and instead of you know, you try the unthaw or the defrost or whatever it's called, thaw, not unthaw. Um, you try the defrost mechanism and it doesn't work and so then you put it on a minute and it cooks it on the ends and it's just been one of those days. Okay, so we'll get these in here. I don't need to make a ton of them because it's just for me and Don. So I'll probably stop at this one. If I can get this little bugger off here. Oh, for the love of all that is good and right in the world. Okay. Luna, you already ate. She thinks I forgot, but I didn't. All right, we'll get the meat in here. That is just plenty for, for just the two of us. All right, roll that mess up. Good grief. Y'all, be gentle with yourself. It's Halloween. If your chicken tears, I won't tell a soul. Okay, so I've got that all rolled up in there, kind of. You can see that. I put the cheese, no, cheese, put the sauce on first, roll it up, or just pour it on there. I've got way more sauce than I need. But normally I would fill this pan. I might, after the video, go ahead and fill it. But for your purposes, I'm just going to show you this. Okay. I like, I like a good measure of sauce on there. And what happens is that chicken, you know, I know you're thinking, oh, a chicken instead of tortillas. But the chicken takes up the sauce, and I really can't tell the difference. Now, my ex-mother-in-law was from Mexico, and I'm sure she could tell the difference. And, you know, that's great. But Don and I, for us, it's fine. Oh, actually, look, I can get a couple more off this side. Okay. Um, 
But anyway, it's just a, it's a good little recipe just to have in your arsenal. <laughs> because sometimes you need something quick, you know, and this will, the brown meat, I know a lot of people do meal prepping, and so their ground beef is already, for the love of pee, their ground beef is already, you know, pretty much done. Like they'll cook it at the beginning of the week, so they've got it all browned up and ready to go. Let's roll this one this way. And the, whatever meat's left after I fill my pan, I just, um, hi Luna, I just go ahead and put it on the top. And I'm just gonna cover this one with another one because for the purpose of video, like it's going on today. Some days it's all so pretty and perfect and other days it's like, get them dang enchiladas together. All right, here we go. Get these covered. I'll put this in a 350 degree oven. It's already preheated. I did spray this pan ahead of time if I didn't tell you that. Um, I'll put it in that oven for, I don't know, half an hour. And like I said, this is one just like spaghetti and lasagna that's always better the next day. Um, it's good the first day, but I don't know what it is about anything with a tomato base. The next day is amazing. Okay, so I've got that on there. I'm gonna put the rest of my meat on. Oh, that pan is so heavy. I just kind of go over the top with it. Yeah, it's more of a casserole, but what are you gonna do, right? This may not be the prettiest thing I make, but it is good. This is one of those things that we actually eat all the leftovers. Okay, now, hateful chicken. Now, let's get our cheddar cheese on. And normally I would do shredded, but I was out of shredded and it's cold out and there was no little teeny part of me that wanted to go to the store today. All right, there we go. 350 degree oven for half an hour. I'll be back and we'll try it together. Okay, so 35 minutes later, our enchiladas are out of the oven and I did get it done before the trick-or-treaters started showing up. It's about 4.30. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a peek so you could see. So I've got some sour cream on there. I had a little extra salsa because I just need a little extra salsa. So let's give it a try. All right, I got sour cream everywhere. This looks super yummy. Hmm. Hmm. That's good. I went a little long on the cooking time because I got on the phone, but I'd say 25 minutes is about right at 350. Hmm. That's super good. It could actually even be a little spicier for me. I seem to vary from day to day on that how much spice I like. But it is really good, guys. Um, I don't notice the chicken in place, you know, of the tortillas. Like I said, if you're, you know, my kid's Mexican grandma, you're going to notice it. But, hmm, hmm, they're so good. I was so hungry. This is definitely a win, guys. Goodness, I'm keto poppy with low carb enchiladas. Thank you guys so much for watching the channel and all the comments and all the encouragement. I really appreciate it. You guys are just, you make it so easy to keep doing this. I'll talk to you soon.